In this video, we're going to look at adding insert processors to tracks in Pro Tools. As you can see, I have a basic session open with a dry recorded guitar part that's in serious need of some processing. So the first thing I'm going to do is flip over to the Mix window. I can do this in a couple of ways in Pro Tools. I can choose Window, Mix, or I can press Command equals on Mac or Control equals on Windows. And now I can see the mix window. At the top of my guitar track, I should be seeing inserts A through E. If you're not seeing these for some reason, go to the view menu and choose mix window views, inserts A through E. Now I'm ready to assign some insert processing. We'll go ahead and click on insert A, choose plugin, choose harmonic, and assign the Sansamp PSA1. The Sansamp is a guitar amp modeling plugin that's free with all Pro Tools systems. Now I'll choose a preset from the preset list, like Fat Lead. And you can hear the difference right away. And we can bypass the plugin to compare the original dry signal with the process signal. This is just one example of an insert process. Now let's go ahead and add a reverb on insert B. It's important to note that inserts process in series, so the guitar clip will play through the PSA1 before it reaches the reverb. Be sure to keep this in mind when setting up a processing chain on a track. And once again, I'll start with a preset from the preset list. Let's try Garage. There are many other kinds of insert processors that can be used in Pro Tools. It's a great idea to experiment with all of them so that you'll be familiar with what's available.